Welcome to WorshipTutorials.com. I hope you don't mind a little bit of a more lengthy intro video. When we do a patch video, we typically do a playing sample on the front end anyways. And so I wanted to kind of show a lot of what inspires me and inspired me to make this patch. I have been really inspired by a lot of different pedal companies in the last couple of years. I really want to take pedals that are kind of unconventional in this praise and worship sound, this this world we live in, and try to implement them to create different textures. And sometimes it's just for fun at home, And but a lot of times I do it live. I really enjoy taking these sounds and doing something different. I've done sets with acoustic guitars and I'm like on electric and like that's it or maybe there's like a cajon but the point is is there's no keys player there's no pads being played and my job was to fill in space and to make some noise that kept things interesting because you could do volume swells the whole time in a set like that and that's totally fine and that sounds really great in certain contexts but I always wanted to kind of push things and figure out how I can make some different sounds because a lot of times the sound of a pad is just a tonic anyways. And so now the Helix actually has something I can use to do that. Um, it has some ways I can make some glitchy, quirky noises. And that is what this play at home, to play on, stay at home. That's what this play at home patch was all about. So when the 3.0 update came out, we got a few things that we dropped in this patch. First of being the shuffling looper, which does kind of sort of what it sounds like it does. It shuffles what you record into it. And I'll show you a little bit more, but there's some parameters you can use and you can really decide how crazy random and ridiculous your loop gets. Poly sustain in this patch and just really in the Helix in general will take the sound you put into it at that moment of you hitting the button and it sustains it. So I'll show you that real quick because that's easy. So here's just like a little G triad. and it grabs it, which is really cool. And you can set it to, to tail off, which is what I have, so it doesn't just cut dry, it kind of just fades out, which is really cool. Um, and of course I added some verb onto it just so you kind of hear how it kind of can sit. But at the beginning of the video, what I did was I started by capturing that. I was playing the key of G, so I captured something with the poly sustain and the dynamic hall. And then I went and I played a little bit and recorded that with the shuffling looper, and then when I played that back or told the shuffling looper to play what I just recorded, it kind of chops it up and you can make it super random, almost unrecognizable, or you can kind of have it to sound like it just skips around a little bit, which is cool. Um, I really like the randomness, so that's how I have it set up. If you look at the signal chain, the poly sustain is before the shuffling looper. And you may find you want to swap the order of that in the chain. Reason being, if you use the poly sustain first if you record that first what you then record in the shuffling looper is going to it's capturing the shuffling looper will be capturing the poly sustain as well i don't mind that because the reverse i don't necessarily want personally but you can change the order because when you're recording something you think about the fact that anything that's before it is going to get 
captured. So the order of this patch, I change every once in a while depending on the sound I'm going for when I'm messing around. That's why I have a few of the effects after. I have the delay, the take delay, and the haul after. They're the last things on there. I have a smaller delay too, or a smaller reverb too. And But they're last because I like the fact that it, it kind of, it's almost like using a bus in the studio world. It's feeding everything into one verb and it keeps makes everything sound really cohesive, which I really like. Um, you also have a bleat chop trim. That is set up to be reminiscent of how I like to use a ramping trim. So here is it just on its own. Bradford, you did it. Congratulations. You World's it out. best cup of coffee. <laughs> or ramping trim. That took a while to figure out. Thank mm -hmm. you, Brian. Um, I like I like it, so I put it in there. So that is in the front of your, your loopers and the poly sustain. Um, next, on the buttons, and I should say, these buttons, to me, make sense in the order they're in um, because I want to know what is getting affected by what. And so you may find that changing the order of the buttons, but that's really easy. You kind of just, you put your, you hover your fingers on the buttons. Don't push the buttons, but you like hover your fingers on the buttons and you can swap where stuff is at. And that, you may have a better train of thought or a different train of thought than I do. But the glitch delay, it has become near and dear to my heart. This is the repeats, this is what it sounds like. So it's like a little bit of reverse and some octave too. So here's like a, let's, let's say I was to play the cornerstone riff. So it's a little more recognizable, right? So it's not gonna be quite in time, but when you're playing with a patch like this, it is set to a time, but it just depends on what you want. I, I like, it's set on quarter note. It's not gonna, it doesn't match exactly because of all the ramping it's doing and this like a, the repeats and all, but. It's cool. This is just a standard tape delay. And I like it because I have it set to quarter and dotted eighth. And that, like I said, is at the closer to the end of the chain. So anything that's been recorded is going to get that effect because it's after the recording. So next up on the top row, we have an auto volume. I like this. Um, if you're using the HX effects or the stomp, um, that would probably be my first thing that I would pull out because, I mean, you may want it. You can do whatever you want. But uh, I just like it because it's kind of fun to sit in when you play. Here's some verb too in delay because I can. But it's fun to... I really like that. I like the uh, fact that I can just play that way if I want to. Um, and not have to worry about things. If you have a volume pedal or you want to use your volume knob, you have that option. Um, next, I used our KOT sound. It's kind of our standard sound just because I wanted a little bit more dry. Ooh, mama. That's bass tone. And I added an amp gain switch. I started actually with our free AC30 patch and started deleting the extra things I didn't need it, tweaked the things to get in there because I wanted to just use that amp patch for this as the base, so that's what it is. Also one of our IRs. Uh, basic plate verb, if you really want it. Um, I find I don't use it quite as often. I did every once in a while, but that may be another thing that if you're using the stomp or the HX effects that you find that that may be what you ditch because you're not gonna be able to put all this in here. Um, the next thing I have in here is the dynamic hall, real big. So good. Um, if all these other things, like the glitch delay, the poly, poly sustain, and the shuffling looper weren't enough, was it 3.1, Brian, but we got the dynamic hall? Yes. So good. So good. At the end of the day, this patch is just to be for you to get creative and to play at home. Um, maybe you, you end up loving this thing so much, you take it to church or you take it to a gig and you utilize it in that way. You try to mess with stuff. I mean, have fun. There's no real rules here. If you think it sounds good, it is good. It's a lot of fun. Um, the glitch delay reminds me of the Chase Bliss Therme in, in some ways, um, which is really cool. At least the way I kind of set it up, not directly, but the Chase Bliss Therme takes your repeats and, 
uh, does octave stuff with them. It can get crazy. I love it. Um, but a couple things. If you're in the Helix world to begin with, you probably don't have a need for a pedal, but that pedal is so meticulously made and so creative, like the price point kind of can put it outside of the reach of people. And so if you have an HX effects maybe on your board and you just want some quirky stuff, maybe you'll enjoy the glitch delay. Um, the bleat chop trim is set up kind of in such a way that it sounds like my Chase Bliss Gravitas. I mean, it's not exactly, there's nothing I think that will ever compete with the Gravitas. Um, but that's, that's my, that's my bay as the kids used to say, they probably don't say anymore. Um, but like it's, it's inspired by that. The poly sustain, there's a few things I guess on the market that do stuff similar to that. Part of the way I wanted to use it was similar to the Chase Bliss mood. Um, the mood does way more than just that, but that's one reason I like it. Cause then you can, you can kind of, uh, mess it up and make it all crazy and stuff. And similar with the shuffling looper, that's some things that the chase bliss mood does. You can have it really be super quirky with the, what you're capturing and it flips stuff around. I haven't actually tried a blooper yet, but the blooper from chase bliss does some crazy stuff. Um, also, back, back to the glitch today real quick. Uh, it also kind of, the way it does some of the reversing stuff also reminds me of the Red Panda tans Tensor that I love so much. So all of this stuff, I'm just was really inspired by what came out in this update. And so I wanted to kind of give people an idea of, like this is what I do with pedals, like my other pedals. This is why I love pedals so much. Um, this is why I have so many weird random things because I just enjoy like I could sit, I was messing around earlier and I told Brian I could just sit here for 15 20 minutes listening <laughs> to this random noise so I made this patch kind of right around the middle of the pan pandemic even starting I kind of got the idea of putting quirky stuff in a patch so people could use the helix at home by themselves for fun um, but then Brian and I are beta testers for uh, new firmware for the Helix, and we kind of caught wind of some things coming out, and we, I kind of decided to, to press pause because I wanted to incorporate some fun stuff. Um, and also, we incorporated the Dynamic Hall, which also came after. So, play at home, though, was a play on stay at home because that's what we were told to do for so long. Um, and so, if you're going to stay at home, you might as well play at home. There is no poly update to the pod go. Uh, will it come? I don't know. Uh, that stuff is pretty intricate. The poly sustain takes a lot of DSP. So the heart and soul of this patch, what makes this patch so cool is the poly sustain and the shuffling looper, which is not in the pod go. So as of now, when this video is released, you're not gonna be able to get it. I'm sorry. Uh, if you really like these cool sounds, this is basically our AC30 patch. Um, and mess with the glitch delay. Just go for it. Just have fun. Drop it in there. It'll be cool. If you are an HX Stomp user or an HX Effects user, yes, we said HX Effects. We did. This is like the perfect patch for HX Effects users um, because you guys got all of this stuff too when you got an update. So as I said earlier, there's some stuff in here that may not fit. We're going to cram it into a patch with all the things like we think are the most important, but we will also include the extra stuff in other patches so you get everything that we dialed in for this one. Um, obviously, HX effects, there's no amp. Um, you're not getting the amp gain. We'll include the King of Tone, but um, depending on how you use the HX effects, you may not need that. You may not care about the verbs or whatever, so you could probably cram everything in there. Who knows? Um, but we will give you everything across as many patches as it takes so you can pick and choose, but the whole point of this patch, like I, as I was saying, the whole reason why I think this patch sounds so cool really comes down to the shuffling looper and the poly sustain, especially the shuffling looper. The poly sustain you could probably fake somehow if you wanted to um, using something else. The glitch delay is probably my next thing. Like that would be the next thing I'd have to have. Um, if I was using only the HX effects to get this stuff and um, I really was trying to make the most out of the patch, I make sure the dynamic hall was in there as well. That'd probably be my favorite. And then next, I'd probably grab the the trim, the bleach chop trim. That'd be the order I would do things. Shuffling looper, poly sustain, glitch delay, hall, bleach chop trim. Everything else is kind of like just texturizing things on top of that. So the, the tape delay, the amp gain, king of tone yellow and the auto volume, probably not super, super important. 
um, to the integrity of how cool this patch is. So, anyways, that's it. Uh, this is a very, very fun thing for me to mess with. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, like, not even kidding. Playing this thing and just, I just let it record as I was doing other, or I just let it play back as I was working on stuff. I don't know. I like doing that. Um, but hope you enjoy it. Hope you check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.